Coronavirus cases in our state top 133,000. But after days of increases, hospitalizations, and the positivity rate are down slightly. Some city school students will go back to the classroom in November, but the Baltimore Teachers Union is blasting that idea. Rachel Menetoff with reaction from both sides. The back to school battle continues. This week, Baltimore City Schools announced that some families will have the option to send students back to school in small groups in November. During a virtual town hall Thursday, the district says it is supplying millions of dollars in PPE and will enforce social distancing and keep students in strict classroom pods. There will also be contact tracing in the event of an outbreak. We do have protocols in place that have been developed. Um, in collaboration with the broad range of health professionals. Dr. Sonia Santalisis says the district will be focusing on students who need more in-person engagement. For example, students with disabilities, English language learners, and students who simply aren't logging on regularly. I want to emphasize the point um, that this is not mandatory. For families. The Baltimore City Teachers Union president pushing back against the plan. Right now, what people are telling educators is that you don't trust our judgment because we've been telling y'all for the past seven months that it is not safe right now to return to buildings. Some parents agree. It's getting cold, you know, flu season's coming up, and I just think it's a little too soon. Right now, we feel a little bit uncomfortable sending her back to school. Katie Wolbert says her younger sister has been going part time to a private school and that it's been working out well. And if we're not bringing everybody back at once, I think that there's a way they can do it where they can be spread out and be able to clean in between students coming in. And the district says the majority of its students will continue with virtual instruction. It stresses that this new plan is not mandatory, but that families who would like to return to the classroom will be able to sign up in the next few weeks. I'm Rachel Menetoff in Baltimore for WJZ.